Hello. I uh, was just reading about an article about a group of seven painting worth 200,000 stolen from Toronto residents. Let me show you. Right here. A group of seven painting worth 200,000 stolen from Toronto residents. There it is. An old painting by the Group of Seven, A.Y. Jackson, valued at 200000 was stolen following a break and enter at a Toronto home last week. Toronto police said the original piece of artwork was taken on January 18th from a residence in the city's annex. Oh my god, that's right where I grew up. <clears throat> the canvas painting titled Sun Gleams Autumn North Saskatchewan, measured at 32 by 40, uh, and was stolen among other items. So... Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna paint my own version of it. So I, I just uh, I uh, save that image there, and it's, it's kind of cut off, so I don't know what's on the bottom. But just for the hell of it, I'm gonna do something like that, just for those poor rich bastards who got broken into. All right, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know why. It's kind of a stupid idea. Um, there it is. Okay, so so I got this new canvas. This is sixteen by twenty, and it's one of the um, inch and a half thick type of, uh, canvases, it's like gallery style. Nice and heavy, heavy duty. This is a good quality canvas, man. Even that kind of wood, it's like this. Can you see this? It's, it's like nice quality wood. It's like this, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's like this kind of got a green color to it. It's got those cool clamping brackets. I have a, a bunch more. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but 12 more of these good quality canvases it's kind of cool all right a y honestly that's not even that good of a painting nah. AY was pretty good he's no tom thompson though all right so what should i do should i uh i'm just looking okay i'll show you what i'm looking at did i show you already i think i did i'm looking this is my desktop so I'm looking at this picture here. Maybe I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. I'll go into this thing, and I should adjust the color intensity to 55%. I find that 55 is a bit more lifelike. Okay, and then I'll zoom, zoom. That's, good. That's okay. All right, let's go. Um, go back to this thing. All right, so this painting here, let's have a little gander at it, shall we? So it probably comes down lower. It probably comes down about here. What dimension was it again? It was uh, 32 by 40. So this is 16 by 20. So this is, my canvas is much smaller. So what's gonna be different about it is my brush strokes are gonna appear larger. All right, so let's just go and look at this painting a little bit, shall we? What do we got going on? We got these kind of goofy little god rays coming down. Uh, we got this terrain with the little A.Y. Jackson, very swirly, curvy, you know, if you look at A.Y. Jackson stuff, his stuff is very curvy. Emily Curry, it's kind of goofy. I mean, he's all right. He was an okay painter. He was pretty good. He wasn't, he wasn't great. There's only a couple great the artists that I consider great. There's only probably maybe 10 people in the world that ever lived, in my opinion, which doesn't mean shit. Okay, so the question I have right now, let me go back to my actual view. The question I have is, what the hell am I going to do? Am I going to... I don't want to copy it, that's for sure. I don't want to copy it. Okay, so it doesn't look like, yeah, no, I'm going to do an undercoat. There is a bit of a, I'm noticing a bit of orangey kind of 
oh shit, orangey yellowy um, hints underneath. So let's get some little bit of orange. Ooh, that's that's a horrible color. I mean, for this painting, that is. Let's try this. What is this? How can this get so hard so quick? All the good stuff is in the bottom. This stuff is. What is this? Is it even red? So yeah, it's kind of red. So let's just mix some orange and red together and start slapping it on here. Yeah. Ooh, it's too vibrant. I need yellow. That's too intense. All right, AY, let's see what you did here. Now, it's kind of a crappy photo, so I don't really have that good of a reference, to be honest. When you look, oh, look at that shitty, ugh, I must have mixed some blue in there. All right, whatever. Okay, so AY, Jackson, did I say Kasum? What the hell is, is that Kasum? Okay, so I really don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just doing this for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. That is the wrong red. I did a, I've done a couple of reproductions where I, I made it my own. Like there's one painting I did of a, I can't remember, it's like a Degas dancer. And I, uh, I made it so it was like kind of red and I just changed it up a little bit. I don't do that really that often. I've done a couple sort of reproductions, but they were for purposes. One was for, I did these two paintings in a weekend. Were draw, they were pastel paintings, drawings, whatever, for a TV commercial for the Art Gallery of Ontario. And uh, I also did, in high school, I did some reproductions of Blake's Two of Blake's paintings or drawings or whatever you want to call them. All right, okay. I'm on it, man, John. I'm on this. I'm on it. Okay. Okay. Well, I still, this is very wet. Okay, you know, I just I need to stall for a minute because so, I just realized this is wet. I was just doing my own my own thing, which if I'm gonna do a proper job of trying to like mimic Ewey Jackson, it can't be. It's, the canvas is too wet. So let me just show you those. How about if I just show you those reproductions that I did just for the hell of it? Well, this thing is drying. Let's go back over here. Let's do that. Okay. I got some pretty. I already have paint on my hands. Oops. Let's go to Brackman.com. Good thing there's no bad links here. Okay. Come on. Go on to my website. Let's go to uh, Dancer. P A oh shit, I just got paint all over my keyboard. Fuck. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna go to I think I actually have a, a section called reproductions. Let's do that. Collection. Look for reproductions. Where are they? Reproductions. Okay. Again, I'm just trying to have this canvas uh, dry down a little bit before. Okay, so yeah, here, dancer in the red in red stage. This is a let's see, I did this. I don't remember ten years ago maybe. And what you do is you go back, you can click on the image right away, or you can click on the title, and it takes you to another page with a much higher res version. And if I ever have any videos, there's videos on it too. So this is going to be a higher res version. It's got other information too. Okay, there we go. So it says here, 2012, I did this. I think I have some notes here. Based on the star Dancer on the Stage by Degas. So I kind of did my own version of Degas, because Degas pretty wicked painter, observer of the human form, blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah, so 
I did these two, this Gogeo and then this Renoir. And to be honest, I think my Renoir is better than the original. <laughs> I did it outside on these large pastel boards and it's oil pastels. And I did it in a weekend and they, they, I kind of blew away the, the, the film director. Oh, look at that. There you go. Yeah. So they actually put it on the brochure. Okay. So they put, so I did this, uh, this reproduction. It was even faked his signature. When I was 24, I did this. And it was for a TV commercial for the AGO, Art Gallery Ontario. And that's right. If I remember correctly, the ad, they had people walking over my, my things and pouring water on it. It was raining and they started like getting dripping and fading away. So they destroyed them uh, during the filming. But this is the one there. I think the one I did. This is the one I did. Is actually even better than the real one. Gee, gee, gee. So, yeah. So this one, like I remember even doing all these cool little lines and going, you know what? Renoir, or, or yeah, Renoir should have done it like this. Should have put him, should have put smudges here. And uh, his hands were a little bit better, but <clears throat> this was, I think this one looked better. And also, I don't even like Renoir. I think he's like fucking stuff like bubblegum. Okay, so then this one, I did these two probably over a weekend too when I was in high school. Let me, let me go to the detail thing. So Blake uh, was an English artist, poet, and he's known for tiger, tiger, burning bright in the force of the night. What a mortal hang or I shall frame thy fearful symmetry. He didn't even goddamn rhyme. Son of a gun. Okay, so I did this when I was 19. It's called Blake's Loss Howled in a Dismal Stupor. And it was pretty good. I, I had a photograph or I, I had a book of the original one that I put next to it. So I, I had it right set side by side. And I tried to even mimic his mistakes. This is reproduction William Blake's blah, blah, a relief etching. Oh, the original is a relief etching color printed with pen and watercolor. Oh, yeah. So that's how the original one. I didn't wash in watercolor. And it was only four by six inches. So this is, imagine that. This is pretty goddamn tiny. I actually remember the hardest part was me writing this. So even the, the letters were offset and dispaced based on his thing. So four by six inches is not big. And then here's the other one. Uh, this one, I think I kind of rushed this one a little bit. But... I don't know, someone could put them side by side and take a look. Not bad for a teenager. And I remember drawing with pen because it says, yeah, pen and paper. And this one's six by eight. And the original one is a relief etching. So the original one, the lines were done by etching, but of course I was using gouache and watercolor. And uh, yeah. And I remember thinking this finger looked a little weird, but I think that's how we actually did it. So here we go. Okay, so those are some reproductions that I've done. Because I don't really, you know, I've done maybe uh, probably a thousand pieces so far. So only one, two, only one, two, three, four are direct copies. And this one is like uh, my own interpretation. But otherwise, everything else I do is, is pretty much original. Okay. So I probably lost everybody. Let's just go back to, oh, there's two people two people here okay let's go back to the painting and look at this thing <sighs> my my canvas is almost dry Oops. let's go back to this it's probably almost right all right so if i was to start this thing I need the right colors. Or should I do my own version of this? Like what I mean what I mean is uh you see it well in the in he he's got three of these goofy trees he did. Should I do just like that? How should I paint this? What should I do? Problems. I don't even know the true colors because it's such a bad photograph. It's like faded. That could be that could be purple. That could be green. I don't even know. Um, I 
I think what I'll start off is, I want to start off by doing a bit of a line drawing. Hey Joyce. I'm just kind of thinking like, so there's people who, who got broken into their house. I know exactly the area they live in because I grew up really close to it. Um, and uh, <laughs> they can buy my painting for only 50 bucks. Well, I don't know. Okay, so let's uh, start with a green. Start with this money green. All right, so he kind of, you know, yeah, let's, let me just make my own version of it. Okay, I won't make it perfect. I don't, I don't, definitely not in the mood to try perfection, but he's kind of has this. He's got a bit of a wavy thing going on here, and he's got like that right there. He's got like this little sort of rock formation here, and some weird little rock thing, and he's got this. So over here, and over here, like, I don't know what's above, but I'll just assume that's more sky. So it comes here, and then he's got these, uh, Weavy little bits. He's got this thing here. He's got that rock. He's got these things. Okay, and they've got trees. Where but the trees are? There's probably one that sort of comes up like this, and it goes one of these kind of things over here. He's got this little silly thing here. There's another silly little goofy tree. Okay, so the proportions aren't even are, are off for sure. But I'll just do quickly. I don't know if you can see if I slap between the two. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, they're totally off. Like, this hill should be over here. Yeah. But you know what? Screw it. Screw it. Let's just do this thing. I wonder how I can make it different. I'll try to, like, steal some of his uh, brush strokes. Then I'll send it to these guys. I'll, I'll find out their address and say, sorry you lost your AY here, or have this shitty little fucking thing I did. <laughs> Stupid assholes. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice there's trees over here. I didn't even see those little guys. Probably just make them feel worse. It probably pissed them off. <laughs> 200000 They probably have insurance for it. I'm sure they're fine, right? Rich people have insurance for things like that. Okay, so his yellow has these weird. Oh man, see, it's still a little wet. I don't know. Fuck it. Let's just do this. Let's just bring them in. Let's just bring this in. See, look how it's mixing so quickly. So, what I'll do is maybe I'll just start really rough. Rough. Just start rough. A. Y. Jackson. To be honest, I don't know anything about Way Y. Jackson. Like, I don't know about his personality. I don't know what about his likes. I don't know about his family. You know, I got to learn more about him. I always had a bit of a love hate kind of thing. I felt he was just like some of his stuff was. Mm, yeah. It's okay. Very stylized. I just don't think he was, he was, he just wasn't as talented as, as Tom Thompson. Tom Thompson was, I consider, the Canadian Van Gogh. For me, Tom Thompson, like, individual brushstrokes were just fucking magic. That's, that's how I view Tom Thompson. Hayway Jackson, I think, yeah, he's like a, you know, a really good, competent guy. And, you know, he, you know, he's, he established his own style and, the, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. He just, like, Tom Thompson was more like this a master he's someone who like i would i would that's what i'm setting my sights for i'm setting my sights for tom thompson and, and van gogh that's who i set my sights for it's always important to have goals and you may never come close to achieving them but the idea is that you you try you go for it and in the in the process, I find my own kind of way 
That's my idea. Okay, so we come up here. Coverage, great self coverage documentation. I, used to, I, I don't even know what the hell I was blabbing about. I was saying a bunch of nonsense, wasn't I? Self coverage documentation. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's because no one gives a shit what I'm doing, so. I was just fucking talk about it now. No one gives a shit. Okay, so what are we going to do here? This whole area. Maybe one of those occasional I'll just pop pop through so you can see what I'm looking at and what I'm doing. Oh! <laughs> Mine's that so... Well, you never know, actually. Okay, so mine is definitely squished up here too much. Okay, so here's the hard thing. I'm not really trying hard to do what uh, the old uh, Fruit Nugget did, whatever his name is. Because I can see clearly it's it's definitely off. But that should, that's better. It's better that I just try to do, I'll do my own thing. I'll, I'll, I'll let's call this stealing for sure from what's his face. But I'm going to have to give it my own little flavor. And part of that is purely out of laziness. And also, I'm not, I don't like copying things. I think that was, that's truly the lazy thing is to copy something. But okay, all right. So what view do you have? Are you, are you seeing what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. Let's go to some blue. I think, actually, let's try this. This is actually, I think, a watercolor brush. It's got very, it's, it's uh, nice and fat, and the hairs are, are very fine. But I have used it for oils a number of times, so if I've already kind of pooched it. It's not going to, um, it's not coming back. But I think that would be my next purchase is, is new brushes. I have not brush, bought new brushes in probably 20 years. I'm just trying to, I probably bought like most of these in around nine, 95, I would say. I've had most of these brushes from anywhere from 1985, ooh, that's a wrong blue, 85 to 95, probably. I just, I've had brushes and they, they've lasted. Which is kind of cool. So, so I'm glad I took that those few minutes because if I went straight on this canvas, the the it would have been just soaked up. I just needed like a couple minutes of time to uh, let the let the, let the uh, initial wash fade in. Now to do it properly, I should have waited about an hour because it's still kind of picking up picking it up a bit. All right, so all right. There's a lot of browns in this one. I thought I brought over a brown. Didn't I? Yes, I did. I've got a feeling in real life it's much more vivid green and browns. Like even those yellows, I've been mimicking that color a bit. Sorry, the one I can see. But I bet you in real life it's much more vibrant because his stuff was, was pretty vibrant, you know. Okay, so let's try fix up this aberration for here. I mean, mine. This is fine. That's an okay painting. It's amazing. It's worth two hundred thousand dollars. That's crazy. Two hundred thousand bucks. Took him about. I would say it took him three hours to do that painting. Yeah. Not that it really matters all that much. Ah, this is a stupid choice. Okay. You know what? I need to wash my hands. I just I, I just I just want to be clean so that I'm not messing stuff up. So one second.
So this is one of the awesome things about water-based oil paint is I could just go wash my hands with some soap and water and I'm done. And also there's no linseed oil, grapeseed oil, toxic fumes. It's just fucking, it's, it's like revolutionary, you know? I think everyone should use water-based oils. I don't have to worry about it getting my in my fingernails. Like I got some cuts on my fingers, you know. If I was to use real oil paints, um, that's that's toxic. Here's how I painted my keyboard by accident. I should. Uh, I want to just clean this off before it settles in. Dog toys everywhere. Okay. Hello. If proper care brushes the last 30 years. Yeah, I guess so. Because, yeah. That's something I never realized. They just they just have always, my brushes have been with me forever. I was just actually just thinking a minute ago when I was saying that, that you know how they, they plan products for apps? Oops. I think I might have pressed the wrong button. Okay, they make products with planned obsolescence, meaning that they'll they will break down over time, almost guaranteed. So people have to keep buying them. And paintbrushes, apparently, can last a long time. John says they can last thirty. They should last thirty plus years. Well. He's definitely proving this right, because if we're talking 1985, 95, 2005, 2015, yeah, just past 30 years. And this one brush, I love, look at this one brush. It, it keeps on, I, I, I've actually used like scotch tape just to hold it on, just because I love the hairs on this thing. I've used this for tons of paintings. For, for like 20 years. The, the hairs are coming a little bit of a puff, but what's nice about it? Yes, planned ob, obsolescence. Didn't I, isn't that what I said? No. Yeah, the nice thing about this brush is when, when it gets wet, it just comes to a nice fine, uh, fine tip and you can be useless with that. Okay, so shut the hell up and just keep going. <sighs> All right. What do we do here? What do we do here? Wait. Maybe I'll just keep. Um, should just maybe I'll work on the whole front. We got a whole bunch of colors going on here. We got some purples. We something else. Water. We got purples. We got greens. It's not coming off nice. Need to make it thicker. Got some just weird dark colors. So. How much do I want to make it like that one? Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to use it for real direction and then be a little lazy as I do it, meaning I'll just sort of like come up with my own. So, oh, look, he's got a little, is it almost like a little river, or I guess there. Okay, Let's start with stuff I know I can do. What about, let's, is it maybe here? This I'm holding off from doing those trees because I just know that'll take a little bit of attention. Here, I kind of like coming in and uh, this is how I've painted things that were based on reality. Let's say if I was doing a portrait of somebody, I and I would have a photograph. I abhor, uh, when people use a grid and they chop up their pho photograph into a grid and they're just basically painting squares. And I'm like, at that point, why don't you just trace it? Like, who gives a fuck? And it's a really ridiculous concept. It's just my own personal pet peeve. And I force myself to do it a certain way, which is this. I start, I, if I have a reference, I'll start with the reference. 
and I'll block it out in general terms and I'll refine it and I'll add lines for proportions and I'll look to see if the proportions are right and I'll come back and then blah 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 and I know it's this it's, it's just because I can't bring myself to to use a technique that just feels like copying I just ugh, it just fucking hurts me physically I get I, like I want to punch myself <laughs> I'm like you're just copying it you're just copying must well, just photocopy it just take a picture of it let me see something of you in there I guess that's, I don't know, that's just my own mental illness. Okay. Let's see if I can do a better painting than him. Can you please recommend a fine line brush for painting with acrylics? Do you have any tricks when doing straight lines? Okay, so the first answer is no. I can't make any, any, any brushes because I haven't bought really brushes in, in like two decades. I was just talking with John before hour. I've got like these brushes I've had since 1985. Most of my brushes I bought between 1985 and 1990, I'm thinking. Um, so I can't really recommend anything. I, I honestly, I go by touch. I, I would just take it. Well, there's synthetic and there's natural hairs. And they, they definitely behave differently. Synthetics can be more fine and softer, but and like it depends on the animal hair that they use. But I always just like I'll do, I need a clean brush. I always ha I have to look at the I look at the shapes. See this brush is is, is kind of losing it, its its shape. It's because it's was originally a, a square type of a brush, but it's becoming puffy right there. So here it should be square and it should be flatter and thinner. Like like where is it? like this but because I've used it and pushed it and washed it so many times it's beginning to fluff out so I can only use this for certain types of paint um, so when it comes to painting brushes it totally depends on and you want to use acrylics eh? it depends on the size the type of painting the detail like you know I recommend looking at all the brushes and pick say five that are the most uh, like the the most unique for like if you were to group them pick five that represented the most different so you get a chance when you bring them back you can experiment with those let's say five that's probably about right because usually when when you go there's a selection of maybe 30 brushes like different types in one in one series the other thing was tricks when doing straight lines yeah so i am shit at doing straight lines so if you want to do a proper straight line get some uh Ah, fuck. Get some um, tape. I actually have some tape here, which I used to cover up when I was painting, uh, when I was painting, repainting a painting that was already framed. Um, I don't really, I never use this for actual paint. I'm sure I haven't when I was younger, like a teenager. I'm sure I, when I was doing straight lines. So get like painter's tape and you put it down for any straight edge you want and then you just paint over it and then later you can peel off this stuff because the adhesive is pretty light so that's why i recommend a painter's tape this one is frog tape it's called the brand um, so you can use something like this for a straight line if you want to hand paint a straight line uh there are some like a, you can get these sticks that you can rest your arm on um like if it's a large painting so you ever see these old timey artists with their hats on and maybe their mustaches and they have this long stick with a ball on it well that's used for resting against uh, like a surface and they can rest their arm on it and it prevents them from uh, their forearm smudging uh, or touching the, the canvas what I do is this I can't draw a straight line really unless I have one arm here I'm, I'm right-handed so I put this down and I use my other hand as as a guide and it's constantly being, I'm constantly like slightly adjusting my, my left hand to make it straight. So actually I did this in the, in, in this painting, where is the thing? In this painting right here, I had to draw a horizon line. And so what I just, I did, I did exactly do what I just told you. I just sort of put my hand and use my other hand as a rest to go across. So those are just two simple techniques. If you want like, a real straight line, but I don't. I don't like straight lines, to be honest. They're overrated. But if you need it, you could do that. And there's probably other techniques out there too. But that's just my stuff. Okay. 
All right. Let is. Let's take a peek at the thing again. Boop. 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 Okay. So you can already see. Okay. So one thing I actually I, I normally do I should be doing this is I should be putting something under under here to tilt it up at an angle that I can see it. Um, because there's perspective, <laughs> I have most definitely made like this. Pa this painting is much. It, things are more horizontal. When I look at mine, it's all clumped up in the middle. And that's partially because of the perspective, and it's never a problem because I'm not. I'm never really copying paintings to make them look like something else. So, but when you look at these now, you can see the difference for sure. Like this is look how broad this is across. Now that could be due to the fact that this photo's cut off, but I can see for sure. Okay, so I'm just uh, kind of stalling a bit here. What color do I have on here? I've got a green. I've got a green. Actually, I don't like copying stuff because it's actually it's slowing me down. You know, it's like. It's more fun to do your own thing. The name of this painting is like a really silly long name. Look at these weird little goofy little tree here. And they've got this little thing and then lines and stuff. And Maybe maybe it'll come up more. Maybe I've got white stuff. And, I don't know if I'm gonna do this guy. This guy actually starts over here and he curls up. And there's a weird curl. That's a weird type of tree, isn't it? Oh, screw it. Let's just put some things in here. <laughs> Domer Rowney, aka Domo Rep at Ackmore or other craft stores. Cheap. I guess John is recommending a place, but we don't know where Nancy lives. Oh, hi, Mom. Nancy's painting the Fatera. Pretty much have to. Thank you, though. Very helpful. My mom's a good artist. She's online. You could say hi. Hi, Sandy. So, Mom, listen to this. Um, here, let me show you this. So, just around the corner, in the annex, someone broke into a house. Look at this. Someone broke into a house in the annex and stole this painting from a house. It's worth 200000 It's an A.Y. Jackson. So, I thought, just for the hell of it, I'm going to do my own version of it. Or paint it, or just do a version of it. And uh, this is the only photo I could find. Well, in my four seconds of Googling, I only found this one picture. I didn't really try hard. Maybe it exists somewhere else. So that's what I'm doing. So there's that. There's the original. There's mine. Original, mine, original, mine. Wow. It is definitely different. I mean, if I was to... Should I, should I bother trying to make it good? Wow, it's so different. Oops. Yeah. Okay. I don't think my mom knows how to type in in uh, Facebook. I've never seen her add a comment on one of these live streams. And then I've done about two or three hundred of these. I've never seen her comment. I know she's watching them.
Again, I'm just sort of just roughing stuff in right now. Hamilton, all oh, right on. Hamilton. There's people that live in Hamilton that commute to Toronto. That's just fucking insane. Yeah, so I gotta bring it down. even color is that the colors are so bad in that photo you can't even can't really tell definitely not this purple I just feel like just filling stuff in so for those who don't know me I have to keep talking because it helps with my tinnitus so I'm not trying to like <clears throat> be educational or profound I'm just trying to be distracting, Distra <coughs> distracting myself. That's it. <coughs> you go get her, Nugget, you killer. Who's there, Nugget? Who's there? Go find out. <coughs> Good girl. Cool attack dog. <coughs> <laughs> You're okay. You're okay, baby. Well, it's funny, I'm not even looking at my pen. I'm more like looking up at this thing. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing very well. Wow. Oh, what a difference. The light from the screen is coming down and totally changing what I'm actually doing. Okay, so maybe I should do this. I stick, I stick something under here just to drop it up a bit. Maybe I'm going to use the duct tape. All right, so this is going to be even thicker. So I need to not, I'm going to raise it up by about two inches. Yeah, so do I adjust the camera? All right, you can be able to, actually, maybe I'll just try adjusting the camera. I'll tilt it this way and move it back. Tilting, move it back so that your view is more flat. Come on. That's good enough. Okay, so your view is nice and flat, and I can shimmer is reduced. Mm, that helps me a lot. What kind of colors do I have in these brushes? What color is that? Just fill this in. Let's just fill this in. It kind of reminds me of when I was doing that uh, William Blake thing. Looking at another, like copying. Oh yeah, it's so different. It's so like I gotta like perspective is very, very different. So actually probably should come over here. Do I have a better brush? Yeah, let's try this one.
Getting kind of loud. Getting kind of loud. Fuck. It was a uh, past past little while. My tennis was pretty manageable, but it just started going off. Decided to say, "Screw you! I'm not going to give you any peace." Well, I say, "Screw you back." <clears throat> I do like that. Kind of, actually, I'm starting to like his painting a little bit more. At first glance, I was just thinking, "Bah!" Just looks like looks like another those well, A.Y. Jackson paintings. Everyone always talking about. kind of nice I guess because the composition is only okay with this it's not a it's not the best composition I've seen kind of adds these little things here and it comes in thick and then maybe I'll kind of some green what if I mix this yellow and this green how's that look nope how about this green that's not bad not quite good either, actually, is it? Eventually, I'm going to have to tackle these trees. Just, just kind of avoiding it right now. I think maybe I'll do is I'll do I'll do it later. I'll, I'll get these to these trees later. They definitely, they're better now. I'm kind of liking them now. Slowly getting to like them. Slowly getting better to like down. So I mean, really, the this tree kind of is there a dark color? Let's try this. Yeah, this tree is more like well, it doesn't have to be exactly like good old A wise painting. It doesn't have to be. It kind of comes down there. The other one's closer, it's over here. Let's just say it's over here. Why am I keeping hold of this baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Josh. Got to go to work, but I'll check out your finished work. All right, see you, Nancy. What time is it? 235. 235, 235. It's 235. Bon, bon talking. So you don't hear the ring. Ring in your ring so loud. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Blah, 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 blah. Yap, 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 yap. Bye bye. Do, 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 do,
<laughs> See ya. Oh, I'm not brown. Looks like brown. I saw some brown. What color is this? It's very green. It's this green color. Which could be okay. It's not quite dark enough, though. Uh, looks like there's greens and purples there. kind of neat. He's got a blue. I just noticed this. This little blue blue rock. He's got a blue rock right there. There's your blue little rock. And... Rocket. It's actually kind of Van Gogh-y. Right around here. It is kind of Van Gogh, -y, aren't you? Ain't ya? You did kind of do some Van Gogh stuff. A little bit of Van Gogh things here. I'm trying to get old Van Gogh on me. I can see what you're doing. I'm actually kind of digging this painting now. I need that brown. What was that brown? This was it this? Yes, it was this. There's quite a lot of light brown. I'm trying to mix in some. No, is that too red? No, it's pretty close to it. Yeah, that's pretty close. Kind of comes and does this. I'm just trying to, trying to kill some of this red, bright red weirdness. Right? Oh, there's a whole streak of shadowy. That's supposed to be a shadow, right? That's supposed to be a shadow. I see what you're doing. You can't fool me, A.Y. Jackson. I see what you did. This. Swirly, whirly. What color should that be? Wow. Mr. A.Y. Jackson, I know your tricks. I can see what you're doing. All right, so. Yeah, it's like I'm coming in with a low resolution, and and then I'll, I'll come in with a, as I do it, I'll bring in higher resolution. Let's try it properly. I just need to get rid of that stupid. This is the wrong color, but I just want to get rid of that. The red is just too overpowering right now.
whatever. So it doesn't kind of, it's not quite the right angle swirl, but let's just, whatever. What ifs? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if it's gonna be this. Oh, come on. I don't need this ringing in my brain right now. Thank you very much. Just come back another time. It's like this crazy buzzing. It's not even a buzzing. It's just like. It's almost electrical sort of sounding, like a like a frequency. Looks like a forest fire. I like the use of reds in it. Well, I'm I'm looking at this painting here. That painting. <laughs> Look how different it is. It's like mine is much more vertical. Yeah. Wait, all right, let me just. It's like my whole thing is shifted down here. Ah, whatever, who cares? I need a brush. Wow, it's so different. I gotta like, maybe maybe that's the problem. I'm getting the perspective way off when I'm looking at it, looking down. This just, like it's, it's embarrassing how all the shapes are so different from this angle. Definitely not going to be a fourth fire. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to do some blue. I need a right blue. I need a cheat. I'm not using my best stuff. I need a sure. There we go. Here's what I mean. Cerulean blue. I have two sashes and one bristles. They are 30, but liners burn out in the fire of creation. Why? Because you can never get close enough to the to the heel to get all the paint out. Oh, the heel, the brush, I see. They'll always end up splaying. Jaw suggestions is correct. I don't even, I don't even remember what I was suggesting, sorry. Use painter's tape for, or, or half a guide, fine line. Cut to quarter for gentle curves. Use 3M, my eyes are going, I need glasses. I can't read it. Use 3M, fine line for finesse. Paints be available, auto body supply stores. Weird, let's see what I need a new brush too. Oh, let's try this crappy one. Almost dead. It's too too light. Is there another blue? Is that a blue? Let's try mixing it right here. Whatever. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. I think the thing I want to do is bring this down. Yeah, these colors are just too different. My colors are, that's the problem. I think colors I'm using are too similar to the colors that I always do. I sort of just gravitate to a certain type of colors. Okay. 
So I think <sighs> I kind of feel like doing my own painting. Let's just uh, bring these ones down here. Uh, and just. It's just a weird shape right there, isn't it? it has strange curves. So there's a lot more greens and a lot more of this colors over here. Normally, I paint the trees with the background at the same time. I just feel like doing them separately. It probably won't look good, but you know what? This is just a this is just a fun thing, fun little exercise I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I can see how it's so, yeah, it's totally off. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna try to dry rock my own thing. That's what I should do. Just not worry too much about the differences. Okay. What was this painting called? It was a crazy name. Look at this name. So long. It's called uh, Sun Gleams colon Autumn North Saskatchewan. That's a long name. Let's look at the, uh, let's do a little comparison again. Obviously, I haven't done the trees. I've moved them out. My, uh, oops. Wait, maybe I'll try to move them closer to where, wait, here and here. Move it over here. Trying to make it somewhat similar. Let me move this back. Oops. Let's try switching. Well, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's try the switching again. Boom. Hey, oops. Boom. Boom. What color? Oh, color intensity got tricked. It should be only 55. Go down, 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 down. I don't know how it got jacked 100%. That's why it was looking so crazy. I must have clicked on something. So if that's there, and that's... I need to lower it down here. I need to move this thing. Can I make... Oh, there we go. That's good. Boom, 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 boom. Finally, I kind of have it kind of lined up. So it's there. So if I look at mine, I was not that far off. I mean, 
It's not bad for eyeballing it when I kind of line them up. I could tell there's some things off, but not so bad. Wasn't okay. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it was. I mean, if I was trying to make them similar. Huh. Yeah, okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get a little carried away with that. Okay, how do I? Oh yeah, I want to make this bigger so I can see my my, my own painting. Sometimes this, what I like to do is I. I can't show you. I like to show my my own. I like to put my painting here so I can see it because I can see the flat perspective. When I'm looking down at it, it sort of like distorts the view a bit. Okay, let's just continue with this. I think that like maybe this is should come a little. Where's that? weird dark streaks like there's this kind of curve he's got right here and then my mouse and it kind of might exist around here he has this kind of curve that does that it's actually more over here but i'm not sure maybe the painting doesn't even end there it might come off the edge so that's what we're just gonna we're just gonna make some assumptions that I think I might have to stop soon ish. I'm actually going to enjoy making those, those trees. I think. Wait a second. Yeah, who knows what's up here? Let's just make something up. Something. Um, let's make it up a bit. A. Y. Jackson. Da, 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 da. I must make something as good or better. That's my goal here. Somehow. Somehow. If not, then it's a failure. It's got kinds of little, like, little cool little streaks of white and colors and stuff and kind of purpley. Let's go, let's go get some purple. More, uh, that's pretty good purple actually. No, oh, no, it's more red. More red. I need more red. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the purple he has. He's got plenty of this purple, doesn't he? He's got plenty of this. In fact, that brown was actually purple. Kind of brings he has purple down here. I'm gonna be a little lazy right now. I'm sort of slapping that, slapping that, slapping that down here. What time is it? Almost three o'clock, so don't have much more time. Fortunately. Kind of strange, freaky orange. Kind of continues across down here. All of this is just weirdness. How's that kind of like? I think it should come down a bit, shouldn't it? He has all these little. Yeah, I can tell he's painting much larger than me. And I'll tell you how I know. I know because these 
Wait, let me zoom down, down, oh, wrong way, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I know he his canvas is much bigger than mine, twice the size probably, because this whole section here, he has paint, fine little brush strokes, which are absolutely done with a finer, um, they're smaller. So the only way I could do that is I've got to make really tiny, brush strokes which aren't going to look as refined as, as the little ones he's done no question about it so that's how I know this is not going to look as, as detailed as what, he, what he's done okay, this is all kind of crappy up here isn't it the paints are just they're just uh, the colors are gonna oh, I... wait what is this thing wait, let me just zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out zoom out Just getting all mashed, muted. Oops. Whatever, it doesn't have to be exactly like the old AY. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, right? Crack that whip. Crack that whip. Is it break your mother's hip? Is that what it says? Crack that whip. Alright, I like this painting. I have more respect for this painting now. I didn't at first. I thought it was kind of goofy. 
But the more I check it out, the more I kind of like it. I like I like the variation. The guy was okay. He was a pretty good painter. He's not as shit as I... He's not as crappy as I claimed he was. Da -da 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 -da. Crack that whip. I see what he's doing here. He's going like this. He's going like this. I just need a dark line to find it a bit. He went like that, and he kind of went. He kind of went like that with that tree. Although I don't like it that much, he still that's what he did. He kind of went. And this, this comes back, this kicks back a bit more, kind of comes more vertical. And it kind of comes over here, and then this one should be lower than that. The yellow should come down here to there about. That's where it should come down. I wonder how different it is in real life because like you know I'm looking on the screen so it's kind of not as like who knows what colors they are I'm looking at a photograph someone the owners probably took for insurance purposes so it's got glare and it's it's not not a great photo and I'm looking at it on a screen, which, as you all know, is not optimal. I feel like taking a break. It's like just a rough, sketchy, sketchy. <sighs> it's a rough, it's a sketchy. It needs a lot more work. A lot more. This is where that stupid rock should be. The rock should be, the weird blue rock should be here. Right there. You gotta move that over a bit.
Well, I think I think I'll let myself a little break. Yeah, maybe I'll just stop right here. Stop. Okay, so first pass at this painting. Let me just try lining that up again because it's kind of cool to to line it up. Let me try lining it up. Switch between the two. This one is too low. Make it bigger. Click, 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 click. Why can't I move it out? Click, 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 click. Weird, it's not let me move it. Oh, there we go. Click, 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 click. Oh, 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 ah, oh, ah, 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 but uh, yeah, I feel like uh, it's not. It's a, it's a first first little draft, stealing from A. Y. Jackson. Oh yeah, okay. So the whole point of me doing this, I thought, because I, I thought it was fun, not funny, but this was stolen, so I'm stealing it back. That was kind of my whole point for, for, for doing this. Is someone stole it, so I'm making another one, stealing that copy and making another one. But uh, in the process, I'm gonna make it my own. So maybe I'll have to call it something like, call it something like stolen sun, Sun gleams stolen, or something like that. I don't know. That's that's all I gotta say. So there you go. Um, I gotta stop for a while. What I'll do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clean up, and then maybe tomorrow Saturday afternoon I'll have time. I might have time tonight, but I don't think so. Um, I've got a feeling this is gonna take three and maybe even four painting sessions. I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go in here, start, you know, I'm gonna look at the, the original, start, you know, refining it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the trees nailed down. I'm gonna make it so that, yeah, so the trees, cause actually I do like the trees now. At first I didn't like uh, his trees. First I wasn't crazy about those, but the more I look at them, the more, oops, wrong thing. The more I look at them, the more I kind of like they have, they're very Van Gogh-like. So I'm, I'm, what I mean by that is they have the, there's an outline and also the shapes kind of curvilinear. So these little little curves here, this is Van Gogh. I like these sort of flat little object stuff over here. So I'm digging that. I really don't like this. I think this is kind of shit. Um, I think those little those little things are okay. The best part about the painting is probably this, is, is the section over here I like. It's kind of fun that he made these, which are just drawn on, and I do like this about over here. But that's just like, blah. I mean, it's totally, it's it's like it's something else. Anyhow, it's it's whatever. So, yeah, I uh, with my painting, it obviously there's no line, thin line definition. So right now it's more blurry, 
and it's got a, it's got a while, a while to go. Actually, it looks like I might have to lower this part of these and make those little light rays come down and whatever. Anyhow, I'm out of here. See ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.